Welcome back, Pack Streaker 6 here. What you're looking at right here is the vanilla settings for DCS. The settings that I use look like this by using reshade. Now, when I was using the regular default settings like this, uh, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see any enemy aircraft coming at me. I couldn't see ground targets for anything. Um, I had watched a video on reshade and started using some reshade settings that didn't quite work for me. The only thing I got out of it really was to switch to 1080p to be able to see things instead of 4K or 1440p. So now I play at uh, 1080p uh, with max settings and I'm able to see air targets and ground targets much better by having these settings right here. Uh, it may be, maybe look a little cartoony to other people, but I actually kind of like the looks. Uh, let me know what you think of the looks in the comments below. But, if you want to be able to see things in DCS, I would highly suggest uh, downloading Reshade and uh, going through some of the settings that suit you best to be able to see. Now, the settings that I use, I use this uh, Prod 80 02 Bonus LUT Pack on Cinematic 49. I changed the gamma adjustment to 1.244, and that is all I changed. I also added in the monocular cues, or the depth cues, and what I did there is I've got the shade fill at 4.9. I turned the blade, sh the blur shade, completely off, and the shade power all the way up. Then I added just a little bit of cartoon effects just to give it a little extra edge depth. Uh, so I barely got the effect on. It's at 0.25. It does get very overbearing if you uh, turn it up too high. Uh, and the edge slope at 1.5. Now I'm actually able to see <laughs> air targets and ground targets without uh, going, what, what are you guys talking about? Now if you found this video useful, leave a like. And hopefully I see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.